right, we'd like to welcome you to John 316 Ministries podcast. Uh, welcome back, everyone. We've, we've been away for a little while, but uh, thank you very much for, for tuning in and watching what we have going on here at John 316 Ministries. Uh, today, I'd like to introduce two guys, um, two of my brothers. Uh, we got um, down at the far end, Gustavo Cortez, and, um, and then we have Todd Malloy, who is a legend from Arkansas County. I mean, <laughs> both of these guys are pretty well known in Arkansas County, but, um, and that's going to be kind of our topic today, Arkansas County. Amen. Amen. And, uh, but before we get started, uh, Mr. Malloy, would you, uh, would you like to bless this, this podcast? Absolutely. Lord Jesus, we love you, and we, we thank you for today, and God, we thank you so much for this time and this podcast, and, and a, a way, God, uh, to uh, lift you up and, and, uh, in all of this, and we just uh, ask that you bless this, uh, Lord, and, and work, speak through us, Lord, uh, and we, uh, in the name of Jesus, amen. 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 All right, so Arkansas County, Stuttgart, DeWitt are two towns in particular that come to mind, but I know there's others down there. Um, you know, I've gotten to go down there with, with both of you men uh, and sell tickets and, and talk to people, go on business to business, put stickers up, hand pamphlets out. and uh, Our work is starting, to, is starting to show around camp um, right. with the guys coming in. Um, I believe Cortez counted up 10 guys here right now. Wow. That's right. Uh, Amen. From Arkansas County, and then, um, but but you know, there, there's many more men that's going to be affected, many more lives and souls down in Arkansas County that are going to be affected by what we have going on here at the ministry. Absolutely. And uh, and we got good news. You know, we we're going to have rooms available, and we're going to have a house. And I know that that you two guys have been the spearhead on that, and uh, just kind of share about. Why we why we'd want an Arkansas County Faith House, uh, Malloy? If you want to go first, and then Cortez. Sure. Um, well, uh, I was here a uh, little over a year and and uh, uh, worked as an instructor. I graduated in six months and and uh, and then went on to be an instructor. And one of the one of the big uh, one of the things that ministered to a lot of men were were the fact that you know whenever they were graduating they didn't really know what they were going to do after graduation and they were afraid to go back home uh, to their same surroundings uh, before they come to the ministry and in the ministry teaches us you know if if there's any way you can go somewhere else besides back home uh, to stay away from that temptation that that uh, that that's you know that's what they recommend um, so uh, Anyway, just coming here and and uh, uh, you know having a place to stay uh, while I was here uh, and and uh, you know there's tons of people who are still suffering out there that need a place um, to where they can come and find refuge, you know, and and so. God, God put it on my heart. You know, it, it's free being here at the ministry. It doesn't cost anything. And, uh, you know, they took me in when I didn't have anywhere else to go. They said yes. And uh, so the Lord put it on my heart to, uh, to do something for the ministry, and, and that was doing another faith house. Yeah. And so, amen. Amen. Right. What's it? What's it mean to you to have an Arkansas County faith? Uh, well, uh, you know, when I was when I was in jail, I, I never knew of a place that even had people to go have a refuge that are broken. And uh, when I first got here, uh, I went to Pulaski, and I, I I saw the love in that house, you know, and I was like, man, this is love right here. This is what it's all about. Never in my mind thought that it was Arkansas County Faith House, you know, but I. It was it was a little it was a dream now it's a dream come true that um, I, I believe every county in, in Arkansas needs a house here yeah and um, it's a true blessing to be part of this and and there's a lot of people in Arkansas County that that need a place like this like myself and Todd you know and I man it's just an amazing thing that uh, it's going up quick so it means a lot to me yeah. 
And you know something I've noticed that over being here over time, and I'm sure y'all have, and you and you just kind of hit up hit on it is the guys in Pulaski House and how much love they had. And you know we have uh, different faith houses like guys from Jonesboro tend to get in the Craighead County Faith House, and mm-hmm. uh, you know the guys from Benton Bryant there in Saline County, or the guys from you know Memphis area or in Desoto County. Uh, you know the guys that come in from that county get to be in a house together, and that kind of helps them form a network. Am I right? right? It helps right. them form. Uh, it helps families get to know each other uh, from that area where they can help build a, a safety net for their guy, for their loved one while he's here. Um, and then, of course, you, you get to help acknowledge the, the different maker, difference makers in that community because right. every room has a name on it. It's sponsored by somebody, you know. Correct, and, right. um, at one point in time, we, we went around camp and said thank you to everybody uh, that had a, had a room that was a room sponsor. Mm-hmm. And, and we had the guy that stayed in that room say thank you. And, you know, and, and one that comes to mind is Aaron Armstrong, who happens to be from, from Arkansas County, yeah. you know. But he, <laughs> he was doing a thank you for somewhere else. and uh, But being able to see the work that that sponsors get in on you know is a big deal you know they they like seeing what what whatever it is they're giving toward grow you know and um but i know that malloy you've been working on this um in your personal life for the past few years and i know that it's become a calling on both of you men to make sure that this house gets done uh and y'all are calling on some big difference makers in the community um, is there anything, anybody that comes to mind that you look forward to talking to or you just want to say thank you to? Yeah, I, I want to, I mean, I, you know, the, the, the people that are, that are sponsoring a room, I, I just want them to, to know how, what a difference they are making for someone to be able to come here and, and, just, and just be set aside and, you know, out of the world where they can, can regroup and get to know Jesus, you know, uh, get to learn the Word and and be a part of of something that that is a, a true life changer, right. you know. And uh, I know when when uh, uh, in the Butler House, that's where I found Jesus, um, you know. And someone sponsored that room, yeah. and and, and uh, the way it was for me, you know, I, I felt the presence of God. And then I got saved, but those were two different events for me, and and it happened in a room that that somebody sponsored, um, and so uh, it's a lot better than a jail cell. Yeah, that's right. You mm-hmm. know, and and the comfort and and uh, to to see um, how they're they're you know a man's treated here, and and uh, and how comfortable he lives. It just sets uh, it just sets the tone for a new way of living, right. and uh, you know, and I still carry it with me today. Amen. That's good stuff. So I, I appreciate everyone that is sponsoring our room. I uh, appreciate everyone that's going to sponsor a room. Uh, we all know somebody that's right. that is suffering, and uh, I know this ministry gets a lot of phone calls. People reaching out uh, with a loved one in jail, or someone reaching out and and looking for help, you know. And uh, it's just exciting, right? You know, to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, jail keeps coming up over and over again, and you know, Cortez <laughs> came from jail. Malloy, if I'm not mistaken, you came from jail. Absolutely. All right. So one thing, and we got, like I said, ten guys in here right. in the ministry right now. And that's a lot of that's due to uh, trips that we made on Ticket Trail, but not just going in business to business, but going into the jails. That's right. You know, uh, it, Paul talks a lot about that, and he witnessed a lot from jail and and everything. But I didn't go to jail for the first time until <laughs> until Cortez took me uh, down there in Arkansas County, and it was it was exciting and had its moments. But uh, who who do we need to say thank you to for letting us in the jail, and 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 how many lives do you think have been impacted just from us? Getting to go in there. Well, we uh, want to thank uh, Patricia and, and and Johnny Cheek and Todd Wright and all the people that uh, Dean Manis, uh, especially Tim, Mr. Tim Blair, yeah, Tim uh, Blair, uh, yeah. Tim Blair, and everybody, uh, Miss Fonda. We want to thank everybody over there for giving us that opportunity to come here and get a relationship with Jesus, but also, you know, giving us a chance to go in there, like you said, because out of that first trip. 
I think what four or five guys came out of there two that, weeks it, later. Yeah, yeah. And, and, man, that's it's it's that's awesome, man. That's one of the best. I'll never forget that moment here, John three sixteen. That moment, and, and then we got to do it not just once but twice. Yeah, you know. And so when I first got here, there was I think one guy from 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 that county, one or two guys, and um, like y'all were talking about being a difference maker. Y'all, you you don't understand. Um, I wish people could see what it's like being in that room, knowing that there's somebody sponsored that room. And that they don't know, you know, it's it's just a big, it's a it's a, it's a beautiful feeling, mm-hmm. you know, that somebody you don't even know is is sponsored in that room that's helping make me change my life, you know, right. it's simply help somebody change somebody else's life. Yeah. It, it's it's like you were saying, you know, not only is it that person in that room, but the people that are coming to visit that person, the right. family, uh, the healing process, and then the family getting connected with other families, you know, and, and and just the network that it forms afterwards is just unbelievable. Right. You know. There uh I went to a I went to a rise up rally in Fredericktown a couple of months ago and there were twenty eight different recovery ministries wow. that are the fruits of this ministry. Yeah. And it just blew it blew me away. <laughs> wow, you know. Yeah. Uh, and so Cortez, you're you're fixing to exit out, and you're mm-hmm. fixing to, you know, start start a transition house in Arkansas County, and there's the fruits right there. Right. You know, mm-hmm. so it's it's exciting. It is. It you is. Know. You know that that exponential growth is something that you don't really you don't see right off the on the front end, but on the back end of it all, you know, you see that. There's a there's an army of God's people uh, willing to stand up and get behind other men that are looking to change their lives, you know. And uh, it's always great to to go out and and see that uh, happen firsthand, you know. Whether you go out to a rise up ministry or you just make a few phone calls here at John three sixteen and uh, and you see how many people are willing to show up. Um, the uh, an, another, you know, another thing the people that are sponsoring the rooms, you know, it also uh, allows the ministry to form that relationship with those people, and 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 an opportunity, hopefully, that where we can be a blessing for them to to to, to go and serve in the community in the Arkansas County community, yeah. and that's something that we haven't done a lot. But I know the ministry. I know Brian wants to the ministry to be more, um, to to serve more, to have more opportunities. Right. So maybe this will open that door on up where where we can go down there and serve and and show them, you know, right. um, what we're what what we're about. That's what the right. Ministry's about. You know, you know, one thing about John three is we don't we don't just. Walk around with our hands out, do we? No, no, no not at all. <laughs> no. When when you when you graduate this program, when you graduate this ministry, you know two things: uh, you know the truth, and you know how to serve. That's right. And that stuck with me from from day one. Yeah. You know, and so, Amen. Amen. All right. So, how can how can people get involved with it if they if they seem like they're interested in, in getting involved with the the Arkansas County Build? Uh, how, who can they contact or, or who can they reach out to? Well, they, number one, they can they can reach uh, they can call the ministry at eight seven zero seven nine nine two five two five. That's right. Um, they can um, uh, they can contact me eight seven zero four five six three three zero three. Or they can um, contact Cortez at eight seven zero eight three four twenty fifty three. Mister Tommy Hoskins, uh-huh. there in Stuttgart, uh, and then we got Cortez's dad down in DeWitt. No, Javier, you can contact Javier. So a lot of people know Javier over there. They believe in feeding people. I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> But um, have y'all personally, I mean, y'all gone up to the job site and seen some of what we got going on up there, haven't you? Well, I have. I, uh, this morning, um, I'm going to be here for a couple of days, and I got here last night late, so I didn't get a chance, but I did this morning. And um, it was funny because 
last week, you know, they had to they had the pad and the plumbing done, and then last week I started getting pictures of the walls, and I'm I'm like, wow, you know, so yeah, uh, it's moving fast, right. and and it does. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, when it was pr- the real cool thing about it was, is I noticed the little well. Um, I don't know when the well was dug, but it was either. years ago on this piece of property, and it's an old well, and the house is is right. it built right there by the little well. Yeah. So uh, that was pretty cool to to uh, to see that, right. and and uh, it being right right by the lake, you know. So yeah, I'm very peaceful. Right. Yeah, I remember excited. as a resident, we'd, we'd eat that field and mow it, and, and but half of the field was on somebody else's property. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we've had to we've had to seek Jesus into acquiring all that, and you know, but we we used to weed eat around that old well and the old tree that was right there is a big, big old oak tree uh, that's right in the middle where the house would be, um, and and I never saw it. You know, I never saw it being there. I never saw it, but Jesus did. That's right. And, uh, I mean, it's up on a hill. It overlooks the whole lake. It's going to be one of the prime houses to, to be in here on camp, not only because yeah. it's new, but the location. It's by the lake. It's You can see everything on camp on yeah. above the hill is what we call it. You know, up on the hill, you can, you'll can you be able to see everything up there. And it's not far from the kitchen, so you don't got to walk that far. Right. <laughs> you know, so it's it's a it's going to be a Cadillac house, if it you is. will. And it's right by the prayer house. Right beside Man. it. Right. Spent a lot of time in the prayer house, and it's just right <laughs> across the front yard from it. Yeah. So that was pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we got everybody. They know how to get involved. They know some people that are involved. Um, but uh, you know, just what would you say to somebody that that's thinking, you know, that might be watching from Arkansas County, or maybe he's from anywhere? You know, what would you say to him to help encourage him to maybe make a decision to come here? Well. Uh, what I can say is that, uh, man, I know how rough it is over there. Uh, there's not a lot of places you can go get help. Um, but there is a better way. There is a way to get out of that darkness pit that I was, was on, that I was, and Todd Malloy was here, uh, and it's just easy. All you got to do is surrender and and, and uh, ask him to guide you, you know, and that's what John 3.16 does. He helps us. Um, get that relation with him, and, and it's free. I mean, you don't have to pay for anything. That's the best thing about it, you know. All you got to do is be willing and thankful and, and be ready for a change, and uh, that's where it begins. Yeah. Um, I know today my life is a lot different than it was five years ago. Right. Um, and and it's it's because of the teaching here at the ministry. Um. You know, I, I didn't know what I needed. I just I just knew I needed something different, but I couldn't put it together. And um, and I had completely destroyed uh, and burnt so many bridges, um, and just was wanting a change. You know, and 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 uh, and God stepped in. Uh, and give me uh, this opportunity to uh, to come here and and to get a relationship. You know, I had tried everything else; nothing worked, and uh, and so it was a complete, you know, game changer for me. You know, and today I I um, you know I, I'm on staff at a. Uh, a nice church uh, in Fayetteville, and and uh, and I get to help people every day. I get to give back what was given to me. Yeah. Uh, I get to help the homeless, and uh, and if it wasn't for for God and this ministry allowing God to work through it, you know that none of that would be possible. But things are a lot different for me, and I'm very thankful for the restoration that is being restored with my daughter and my family. I'm getting to do things, you know, that I didn't ever think that was possible, would not have been possible if it wasn't for Jesus and me, you know, being here at this ministry and them leading me to Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I did not want for one thing. And and all this ministry asked me to do when I left here was good. Yeah. 
you know, and I'm like, it, it, that will forever stick with me, you know, and uh, so, yeah, amen. All right. Well, so that's that's exciting news, everyone. Um, you know, we, we got, we're going to make sure that we post the phone numbers and, and how you can get um, and how you can get involved with the ministry. Um, we're going to also make sure that, that we have plenty of pictures and things posted uh, uh, of current, bi- like where the build is currently. I know that we have a little drone footage of us pouring the pad. I know that, we, uh, that we're, we're putting up the walls. We're posting pictures on Facebook. So if you want to stay involved and stay in tune with how we're doing and, and where we're at, get on our Facebook page. Make sure you follow our page. Make sure you... Uh, continue to like and share our posts um if you're already involved with us building the arkansas county faith house just hit the share button uh and that'll help everybody down there that you're friends with see what we're doing up here and and they can get involved you know and uh and that's a real easy way to do it over the next couple of days i know these guys are getting to go to arkansas county and mm-hmm. and set up meetings and have luncheons and dinners and and you know getting getting people going uh making sure that people know what we're doing up here and and that's why we're also making this podcast is so people know uh, what we do here at John 316, we don't just uh, work all day. We make sure that other people get involved because we, we're trying to change people's lives. Uh, the Bible says you got to put your hands to it, you know. You, that's right. And, uh, and that's exactly what we do. We, we look to give back. Um, man, it's been great seeing y'all's lives get restored out here. I, I've, I've personally witnessed those, you know, myself. And uh, we can give a shout out to Robin and Spencer because that's who he's, uh, Malloy was talking about. That's right. You know, um, it's been a while since we've been able to visit with you, so y'all come out here soon. Come with Malloy whenever you can. <laughs> Calling you out on that. And then, yeah. uh, you know, seeing the restoration in, in Cortez's life, his little boy, his girl coming out and, and visiting, it took it took a while, you know, but, but it paid off. Doing good paid off. Marriage. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, and, and we just, I know this, if, if God's doing that in y'all's two lives, He'll do it in other men's lives. Absolutely, right? absolutely. And that's absolutely. why that's why we're doing this is because other men's lives will be affected by it, and um, and in, in an eternal way, in the biggest way possible, and that's getting men to heaven, uh, and helping them lead their families to heaven instead of the other direction. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Absolutely, but we. Uh, I just want to say thank you, men, uh, for what y'all are doing to help God's kingdom. Amen. Um, and then continuing to to help others go in that same direction because uh, there's no telling what a man that's willing to change his life and be willing and thankful and submissive to Jesus is going to be able to do. Yep. You know, I mean, Brian mm-hmm. Tuggle helped create John 316 Ministries, which helped create 28 other ministries, you that's know. Right. Uh, so that's that's something that, that Jesus is working in. And uh, they say being in God's will is just seeing Jesus at work and getting right in the middle of it. So. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe, like, share, comment. If you uh, mm-hmm. know anybody that wants to uh, get involved, comment them. Uh, tag them in this. And uh, we want to say thank you very much for stopping by. Um, yeah, amen. So, uh, amen. But, but thank you very much. This is John 316 Ministries Good News Podcast, where we don't offer treatment. We offer the, the cure. cure.